So look, bro, another reaction video, another Ghost Gang video. Um, everybody that's watching this, I hope you're doing 100. Or I hope you're all right if you don't know what that means. The reason why, because y'all watching my video, bro. It's like, what Future say? She, mm -mm -mm -mm, she helping me win. Y'all watching my videos, y'all helping me win. You know what I'm saying? Um, Patreon, to all my Patriots. We've been going up over there. I told y'all I was going to be dropping bombs like a, you know what, right? Been dropping hella bombs. And before I start this video, I got a challenge for y'all. And like I said, if y'all just now watching this, your first time watching the video, then this has nothing to do with you. But to my day ones, bro, what's today? Monday, so this video ain't gonna come out till yonder. <laughs> now, nah, but look, bro, for a week straight, I challenge y'all to save your money. And what I mean by save your money, not your check, because we know how hard. Th you know how people be like, you should save 25% of your check or 50% of your check. Bro, what I look like? Not human? <laughs> Who over here is saving it 50% of their check, every check? You ain't even doing that, bro. But let me tell you how I started, and you're gonna get money like this. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. Do it for the rest of the year. It's what I'm challenging you to do, right? By come 2023, you're going to do it for the rest of that year by yourself. Then the rest of that year. I mean, the next year. Then the next year. Then another. Then another. You know what I'm saying? This is what you do. When you buy something, I don't care if it's in your pocket, it's in your car, the change they give you back. Y'all know the little water coolers that we got up in the house? You can go ahead and push the button, cold water, come out that purified. I mean, you know, I'll be putting cool light in there. But look, take one of them jugs, right? Of course, with no water in it. Some of y'all is really that dumb to take, <laughs> take the jug with the water in it. Listen to what I'm saying. Take one of the jugs, everything you buy, save the change and the dollar bills. The fives and whatever, that's kind of, I be doing $5 bills too, but the change in the dollar bills, bro, say that. Put it in there every time you get it from your car, your house, the pennies, quarters, dimes, nickels, and dollar bills. I promise you, you're going to have like eight bands and not even know you got eight bands. Like, when did I get that much money? And the reason why I said take the water out is because some of y'all will actually fill it up with water in it. Like, why goes want me to get my money wet? Yeah, it's some slow, y'all. Think I'm playing, bro. If I wouldn't have said don't put no water in it, I would have got pictures on Instagram with money floating. Everybody sending me that. But the money floating, is it supposed to turn it to, is it supposed to turn it to uh, holy water? Or is it supposed Anyway, we're finna get straight to the video. I look like it's finna be dope. Um, When I broke my headphones, y'all keep on like, oh, what's up with your headphones, man? You rich. Hey, stop pocket watching. Y'all know how much money I got. I just be, I could be spending all my money on strip clubs and only got thirteen dollars to my name. Talking about I'm rich, the hoes got it. <laughs> now, but look, um, yeah, I broke these in that Mori video. Go look it up. Last Mori video I did. I was supposed to get some on Cyber Monday, then forgot. I'm be looking for them deals. I feel like my, uh, like a keyboard. Let's go though. GGOT in the chat. If you really GGOT. Next, we're down under for a hearing in Adelaide, Australia. <laughs> Daniel. They call Australia down under? What the fuck is that? What's that supposed to be? Like, y'all beneath us? Or below us? Or. Nicholson, a 35 year old father of four, has been out on bail awaiting trial for weapons charges. Today, he's in court to find out whether Magistrate Sue O'Connor will allow him to remain out on pretrial. And Magistrate Sue O'Connor, is that another word for judge in Australia or what? Nicholson, a 35-year-old father of four. Magistrate? On bail awaiting trial for weapons charges. Today, he's in court to find out whether Magistrate Sue O'Connor will allow him to... I don't know what that means. I don't know how to get out, down up in Australia. But let me tell you the good thing about bail. If you can, if you're doing crime, bro, you better have some money put up so you can get bail. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you the good thing about bail, though. Say you get a weapons charge. Police pull you over. You got a gun on you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you go to jail for that. Next day you bail out. Ah, 
you putting the money up, bro. You got a good lawyer that's prolonging the situation for like a year and a half, almost two years. And when you go to court, all right, you finally go to court after almost two years. To make a long story short, the judge be like, okay, we sentence you to two years. When you on bail, that's like you being in jail on the outs, you know what I'm saying? So when they sentence you to two years, you've been fighting it for two years. As soon as she give you your sentence, she's going to be like, time served. You ain't got to do no jail time. That's why it's cool to get bail. You, if you out there doing something, bro, get you, a, get, get you some bail money in the cut. Or you going to be sitting up in there where you could have been sitting on the outs. You, be up in there. you know how stupid you feel and look? Let me tell you how dumb you look and how dumb you're going to feel. If you up in jail and you can't make a $30,000 bail, what's that, ghost? 3000 <laughs> I be like, bro, you can't make that 10%, my guy. For real? $50,000 bail don't mean you need $50,000. It mean you need five. You can't get that 10%, bro. You're sitting up in jail for a year and a half because nobody loves you enough to come up with $5,000. The homies you did the lick with, the female you did the lick for, the baby mama, the kid, and nobody loves you. And they can't even be cool enough to come together. Like everybody drop 500 so the homie can get out. No. Let me go ahead and pawn my studio equipment for the homie. I know you're going to look up. Nope. You a 34 year old loser. Remain out on pre trial. Keeping them 100. I revoke bail. I revoke bail. No, you can stop. Apparently surprised by the ruling, Nicholson turns to his attorney. <laughs> 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 Bro, talk to the judge. The attorney ain't got. You gotta holler at the judge if you want. <laughs> oh no, a guy like this not what you told me up in the hearing. We we, we well, look. I was supposed to get bail. What's going on, bro? New Australians be so soft spoken. Find out whether Magistrate Sue O'Connor will allow him to remain out on pretrial release. See, that's why I was telling y'all to remain out. But she gonna revoke that. I revoke bail. I revoke bail. No, please. He did the prayer hands and everything. He's a police miss. God can't save you in court, bro. He can't. I don't care how much y'all pray. What you going if you was to go to court and you facing life, right? And you pray to God, I don't get uh like God, look, I've been messing up my whole life. The last dude I smoked, he took my candy. I didn't even mean to do that. Ooh, do, ooh, ooh. But this time, I'm going to get it right. If you let me out, if this judge just let her not give me life, I will straighten my life up. On the other hand, it's the judge's first trial. Jesus, I've been living good my whole life. I've been through the bar. I've been through school. I go to church every Sunday. This is my first case. Please let me get the conviction of life so I can go ahead and give me a promotion. Who you think God going to favor? Her or you? He gave you so many chances, bro. We He looking for the up and comers, not the ones that's already going to hell. Like, why, bro? Yeah. So let's see what's, what's going on, bro. <laughs> I revoke bail. I revoke bail. No. Pray your hands. <laughs> Apparently surprised by the ruling, Nicholson turns to his attorney. What's going on, bro? <laughs> Before he gets an answer, Magistrate O'Connor shuts down the conversation. Mm. Take a seat. Take a seat. Miss, please, miss. Please, miss. Please, please, miss. Please, miss. Oh, she just roofing. Look, that's not going to save you. Moments later, perhaps realizing he's about to be locked up, Nicholson decides to bail himself out of the situation. Do the race. That was so slow. <laughs> Somebody help the homie! <laughs> Bro, come on with the court cases, please. He's trying to get loose. Get wiggly. <laughs> Inside what's known as the dock, Nicholson steps up onto a table and delivers a punch. He did that out of frustration. Bro, no, he wasn't going nowhere. You're out of shape. But keep it real, I say that all the time. Stay in shape just in case you need to use that stay in shape in this one day. Because you're going to be living your whole life unhealthy till you need to run from a dog. <laughs> Damn. Oh, 
then yo, yo, it's just grass. I promise you, God. You might see it's going to be like a dream. You know how the dream when you seem like you running fast? You running slow, bro. Trust me. And yeah. New patient at the hospital for a dog bite. Shooting at a party. Running for the police. You wish you would have did them couple push-ups in that six-block run every morning. Uh, you got to do a mile. Just do six. Punch to one officer as he tries to restrain him. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, come on, man. Get one foot on top of the divider and launch himself onto a nearby table and then into the arms of this officer. He like. With the courtroom descending into chaos, a woman makes a plea on Nicholson's behalf. Bro, he landed on the table on his knees. On Nicholson's behalf. <laughs> Bro, just give it up. Now you're throwing the saw charge on top of the scale. As he continues to push his way toward the door, more officers pile on before he can make it there. Oh, gosh. Daniel Nicholson later pleaded guilty to attempting to escape custody. Two counts of recklessly causing harm, harm, harm to a prescribed, prescribed right? emergency worker. I never heard he of that. He admitted to being under the influence of crystal meth at the time, saying he was just, quote, freaked out. Nicholson was sentenced to 21 months in prison with parole eligibility after one year. Mm, yeah, As for the original out. weapons charge, he pled guilty and was ordered to pay a $320 fine. What's going on, Look, you see how they held it? That was hilarious. You see how they replayed it? That was hilarious. What's going on, bro? Like, this is not what you said when we met before a court. Next, we're at Benton County Justice Center in Washington State. Fuck is Benton County? The judge has found Gerald Hyde II guilty of methamphetamine possession. Man, if you... arraignment now over? He gotta be a weirdo to try to drug... Look, bro. Not possession of sales. They found a guilty of possession. You know what I'm saying? Meaning he a smoker, basically. He, they caught him before he smoked it. Bro, you're doing a couple weeks or a month, if that. When you was trying to escape, you get more time than you was given for the, for the original charge. He's being taken back to jail. Or is he? Slid. 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 The defendant has slipped away from security and re-entered the courtroom. Not only that, I tell y'all all the time, bro. I don't know why they got these grandpas, grandpas at the court building trying to police these inmates, bro. When you at the court building, this is how it is, this is how it is. If you got a court date today, right? No matter what prison you in, you gonna come to the court, be in the little holding cells, right? Or if you up in jail, you gonna come to court, be in the holding cells till it's time to go like actually inside the courtroom, right? So therefore, you still got dangerous inmates. Therefore, what they do is they get one old bailiff. You see this all the time, bro. One old bailiff to watch everybody. That's like that's like putting a kid in a candy store, bro, and expecting him not to want nothing. You know what I'm saying? I got this old fool watching me. I'm about to try something. There's 11 of us. All his senses don't even work. If his eyes, look, if his vision and his, and his taste buds work, he don't know how to feel nothing. You know what I'm saying? I promise, bro, all, they don't all work. All seven of his senses don't work at one time. So it's easy to get over on them. And then when you're up in jail or prison, you have one CO in the front, one CO in the back. Where's the CO in the front or back? Because bro just walked from the back and the front. So... Y'all got this old fool doing two positions? Yeah, we finna try to escape up out of here. He just stupid for trying to escape off a of meth uh, possession. Like they gonna forget he was there. The defendant has slipped away from security and re-entered the courtroom. He strips off his prison issue shirt. And do what? I thought he was handcuffed. Oh, and, and put it over his hand. Hide his handcuffs. He makes it to the hallway, and after a quick look around, he 
takes off. I'm out of here. How he get a clean? He ditches the distinctive orange prison issue shoes and continues barefoot through the courthouse. Quickly makes his way to the lobby until he exits straight through the front doors and out onto the street. Wow. Only Nobody or anyone seemingly even noticed he was missing. <laughs> Look at my guy right there dying hours, laughing. Police catch up with him hiding in a friend's house. It's only two reasons they call him at a friend's house. The first reason, obviously, the friend is not really a friend. He a buster, and he called like, Johnny's here. He just escaped. He's not supposed to be out right now. Or two, this dumb fool had his friend's name in his emergency contact some kind of way in the police system, and they went straight over there. Bro, you know when you escape, you don't go to your girl house, your mama house, or anybody you know house. He was high. His friend was a man. This is... You know people escape with no plan? Bro didn't even know he was going to escape that day. This was just a crime of opportunity, escape of opportunity. That's all it was. The dumb homie, stupid. Now let's see how much time he got. He's immediately taken back into custody. Tell us how much more time he got. Next we head to Jefferson County Circuit Court in Louisville, Kentucky. Yo, Louisville. I'm gonna go out there, bro. I always wanted to go to Louisville. This is 29-year-old Rayton Woodford. He's in the courtroom today for a probation revocation hearing. Huh? He's been sentenced to probation for drugs and weapons charges, but violated the terms. So either he about to get some more time at this revocation, or he about to try to get less time. He don't really wear glasses. He's trying to look a little smart, so the judge. Sitting a few feet away is Woodford's girlfriend. The only support there. <laughs> During Woodford's hearing. Bro, can he? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If I know I did it, right? And they tell me to put my right hand on the Bible and raise my right, however it go, bro, I am lying. What person you know that's going to be like, I love God enough to say, just go ahead and take the charge. I'm not going to lie. Or what person have it on his mind the whole time? The whole time when I go to court. Yeah. I ain't finna tell him I smoked everybody. They ain't got nothing on camera. So if I just say I didn't do it, I can go free. They ain't got me on nothing. The lawyer like, yeah, they ain't got you on nothing. Just say you didn't do it and you'll be free. Soon as you get to court, they say put your right hand on the Bible and raise the right hand on however it go, bro. And you be like, and God watch it. I did it. Nobody in the world's going to love God that much. I'm sorry. I don't care how you look at me, ghost. You I don't care how y'all. Nobody love God that much to know for a fact. I ain't talking about maybe. I ain't talking about 99 and a half percent, 99 and three, four percent. I'm talking about 400 percent fact, knowing they're going to get off this murder and if they say they didn't do it. Right? But when they go to court, nobody in the world is going to say, yeah, I did it because God watching. No, they're going to lie with their hand on the Bible and go home. Who going to do it, bro? Knock it off. Y'all, y'all, y'all be cap. Y'all be cap, bro. God is convenient for some. Let's keep it 100. We ain't finna do this in all cases, bro. And I don't know nobody that will. I can't. Man, come on. Come on. You know God's watching you. You're going to get away with it now, but on judgment day, he's going to see that you lie. Man, we don't care about judgment. We getting away with it now. I'm not finna tell the truth now because judgment day coming in 45 or 80 years. Sorry. We, sorry. The detective provides testimony. Not going to happen. He was charged with the handgun and uh, narcotics. Um, and if you know, was Mr. Woodford at the time a convicted felon? Uh, yes, he was. Once the testimony concludes, the camera, controlled by Judge Barry Willett, remains locked on the empty witness chair as the judge announces his decision. When do the judge start controlling the cameras, though? Y'all let me know that. If y'all see me keep licking my lip like this, bro, I got cracked when I was sparring something crucial. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. Like, it was a good hit. 
And if y'all know what 16 ounce boxing gloves, they're real big. So if it's sparring, you won't really. But anyway, my nose is leaking. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. And I'm going to start uploading my sparring footage back on Instagram. I just got like three of them took it down for violence for some. I don't like what the hell. But um, yeah, bro, it had my nose leaking right here a little bit and my lip busted at the same time on one sock. It's ready to pop the trunk on this thing. <laughs> I was like, but so, bro, let me get. <laughs> No, nah, but I'm going to start uploading back on Instagram. Y'all know I'm Tyson Mayweather Ali goes. You know it. She chickens. These chickens. Probation revoked. These Mr. chickens. Mr. Woodford, I'm going to send you to serve five years. Good luck to you. How you going to send me to serve five years and tell me good luck? No, ma'am. No hugs. No, ma'am. He's out of there. That flash across the screen was, was my guy. Making a run for it. Woodford's girlfriend can be heard pleading with her boyfriend to stop. You're doing too much. I didn't even get up out the door. Reflect that Mr. Woodford made an unsuccessful escape. You already got the time, bro. They got you on camera. You in the courtroom. You already at, like, you already there. Just go ahead and go through with the proceeding. Because when you go to your parole hearing, they're going to bring this up. Like, bro, you tried to escape. How you know if you want to put you on? You know what I'm saying? They come up with all kind of woo 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 wops. They do. Baby, please stop. Mm. Mm. Wait for to stop by deputies. He's brought back into the courtroom now and taken into custody. You know who I am! Hey, Girl, shut up! He pulled my hair. Do y'all hear? Don't shut up. His girlfriend's upset about her treatment by deputies. She was caught up in the... If he pulled your hair, it would have been in his hand. You know, that's the way. No, he didn't. That's a lie. They just sold in that good. Well, you just ride your dude with this. Years on the bench. <laughs> Man, you got promoted late. <laughs> he's, he's 10 years on the bench, bro. It's Santa Claus mode. He like 73 in four days. His birthday in four days, he's going to be 73. I'm not lying. That's Santa Claus. Why he get promoted so late? They be, the court system be. <laughs> so what, he about to retire next year? You got. That's the earliest retirement ever. He did tackle him on the way out. Are you okay? A short while later, Woodford's girlfriend requests permission to address the judge Whoa. about what happened to her. We're back on the re record in the Woodford case, and Mr. Woodford's girlfriend would like to talk to the court. I didn't do anything. I tried to stop him. I, I noticed that. I There's noticed no that. reason for him to have been hit on me. Woodford's girlfriend's pointing to a sheriff's deputy who helped prevent Woodford's escape, and in doing so, allegedly had to pull her out of the fray. Okay, so the judge just acknowledged that she tried to stop him. If he acknowledged that old girl pulled, that the officer pulled her hair, then something gotta be done. The judge probably gonna deflect it and say, well, you was in the middle of the melee, so it was just a innocent bystander. Like, we was trying to get him. You was right there. Like, we seen a lot of like, like, where the horse is at? No, I'm just, <laughs> we seen a lot of hair in our face, and we, we was trying to get past that. The jail, you know. He did not. I didn't post any kind of threat to anybody in there. We didn't do that. I tried to stop him. What I saw was that Mr. Woodford made an unsuccessful attempt to escape the courtroom, and he was apprehended by law enforcement. But I got her. I, I I okay. understand that. Okay. I tried to stop okay. that, but there's no reason he for that. He didn't even acknowledge it. Okay. But you condoning that, right? I'm not so condoning right? anything. He's like, okay. Come back up here right now. Okay. He want to take her to jail. First off, she ain't got to come back. She wants to summons the court. She decides to come back and address the issue. If she know her rights, she's scared, which I know she don't. She seen her boyfriend go to jail, so she going to come back. I would have walked out. Okay, 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 okay. She thinks she's gonna go to jail. See? 
okay, okay, okay. And he knew if he would have came. He said, come back here right now, little girl. He said that in his mind. I just didn't hear it. I heard it. I heard it. I'm a ghost. Telekinesis ghost. Any, no, wait a minute. Come back up here right now. Girl. Okay. Y'all heard it? Okay. Don't you tell me I'm condoning anything. I just told you what I observed. You made an effort to stop him from leaving. I appreciate yeah. that. But in the thick of it, when your boyfriend is fighting with deputies, Told y'all. people might get pushed out of the way. Told y'all. Maybe it was for your own safety. He was going to hurt somebody. So don't tell me I'm condoning anything. I did not say that. <laughs> anything else you'd like to say to me? No, sir. Thank you. She leaves the courtroom and is not charged. She can't be Wait, charged. Tom. He acknowledged that she tried to help. Charged for walking out. Woodford home. begins serving a five-year sentence in a Kentucky prison. Stupid. He now faces an additional charge of second-degree escape. For 10 seconds, he about to have to do another 10 Next, months. Next, we're in Utah at the 4th Judicial District Maybe Court in Spanish boy. Fork. A judge is presiding over arraignments. This is when a defendant appears in court to hear the charges against them. Yeah. Plead guilty or not guilty. Or no contest. Off to the side, 35-year-old Christopher Clay Rudd is awaiting his turn. Rudd's in court for... I think it's so sloppy, bro. This how you be finding out when them people up in jail for the, what they're not supposed to be in jail for. And that's for the, uh, the R word. But I think it's so messy how the court give you your case in front of like 15 other inmates, 10 other inmates. Failing I hate to that. follow through on court ordered drug treatment. I hate that. He's restrained with handcuffs, but has no shackles on his legs. The courtroom has a bailiff and several officers. A lawyer heads over to speak with the bailiff. Ha! <laughs> Let me look what an accident. Exits the court with two officers. Let me look what an accident. At the same time, another officer heads out of the courtroom. Bro, with these inmates, it's not happening. They gonna try to do what they do. They pay attention. That's all they do all day on that cell block. They just think and try to create scenarios in their head. I go to court, bro. Let me see how I'm gonna get out. It's too enticing. The gallery has walked up and is now too enticing to try to escape. None of this goes unnoticed. A warning here. What you're about to see is disturbing. Oh, we're finna be good. It's finna be good. Ah, my God. Rudd just fell 18 feet onto a Bro, what you <laughs> The equivalent of jumping head first out a second story window. My God. Handcuffs. Why? This is what I mean, bro. No kind of plan. Nobody there to help you. What he decided to do was break his face for some extra time. Oh, he decided to do what he go. What he gonna say? I tried to go to the bathroom real quick and I fell off the second floor. I fell over the I don't want to take the stairs to the bathroom, so I fell over. Hopefully I learned. I don't do nothing all day, Judge. Like I be bored and I've been practicing on my like gymnastics and not gonna happen. Bro is stupid. Take a look from the security camera in the front lobby. This bailiff instinctively tries to catch Oh, the W bailiff. Promote bro from the door. Damn, I don't know what just happened, bro, but if they don't promote my guy, if they don't promote him, he need to go to another county. Not only is he caring some about somebody that's like he don't even know trying to save him. It's a police officer caring about an inmate. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't promote him, from standing by the door, checking to see if somebody come up in there with Starburst or not, go to another county, bro. Listen to your boy Ghost, because they're not treating you right. And they don't, look, they don't respect your value. I'm keeping it 100 with you. They don't respect your value, bro. Take a look from the security camera in the front lobby. Look. This bailiff. Look. Hold on. Let's take that back. Why? Who, who is that? Ahi? What'd that say? What'd that say? Instinctively. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. From the security camera, he already the knew it. Look! Like he see Jesus, somebody. He, he see it. Then about to come out there, open arms. He don't even care 
Look, he helping somebody right there. You see a boy with the black suit? He helping him. He is on alert times 10. Instinctively tries to catch the defendant, just missing him. Imagine trying to catch a 160 pound sack dropped from an 18 mm. foot height. That could be deadly. Rudd is bleeding from his head, but seems responsive. Mm, he said, I said he cracked his Back face. In the courtroom, the judge keeps everything under control. Y'all chill with just an idiot. Later and rush him to a nearby hospital. He has a broken leg and pelvis and a fractured skull. Oh, his he's thing ain't working. Christopher Clay Rudd is sentenced to 36 months probation. My guy got off easy. He got off easy. He got off easy. 36 months? He didn't get no time. Uh-oh. I'm here in Vegas. <laughs> He's charged in the murder of Muhammad Robinson. A store the owner. occurred when Perez and a woman stopped at a North Vegas fast food restaurant. I told you. And it's not me being... Let me just tell you something, bro. Let me tell you something. When people from overseas and the masters come to the U.S., they set up shop quick. They not over here for no reason. They ain't trying to uh, sleep with your baby mama, bro. They don't care about the new Gucci shoes that came out. They don't care about a rap concert. They trying to make money so they can send it back home. Soon as they said, this fool killed Muhammad, the only way you run into a Muhammad, let's keep it 100. Like I said, they got bread. They out there with the bills and the, and the, and the Karens and all them. You know what I'm saying? Only way a fool like this run into Muhammad is if he up in the store doing something stupid. And what they say? A restaurant. Stereotype go. So what? And I be on point. <laughs> on point. After someone failed to hold the door open, words were exchanged, and then Perez allegedly shot the victim dead. Wow. The FBI apprehended Perez. He wasn't a restaurant owner, the but they have a story. For questioning. Stupid. At 57 a.m., Perez is left alone in the interrogation room, handcuffed to a metal bar on the table. The police are supposed to. Look how he looking, though. These are the reasons you should try to escape if you catch a body. Not over no little possession, you know what I'm saying? Monitor the suspect. This way you supposed to. Camera. As he waits, Perez looks around the room, and it seems the wheels are turning. After nearly 10 minutes, it's clear Perez isn't interested in sticking around. He begins leaning into the cuffs in an effort to snap the steel bracelets. Not likely, right? But somehow, using his own body weight of 200 pounds, oh. he breaks free. He just put so many people on game. He just put so many people on game. They're not the ones our kids play with. They're not the ones from the 99 cent store. He just put so many people up on game. Now, and then hit it like he was still handcuffed. He must decide his next move. <laughs> Instead of making a run for it, Oh, she. Watch now. He places his hands as if to disguise the broken cuffs. He even rests his head on the table, perhaps to keep the broken cuffs hidden from the police watching the room. They probably die laughing. After a few minutes of carefully surveying the space, he knows exactly what he wants to do. The roof. Using a step, he pulls himself up to the ceiling and breaks through. Just like that, he's gone. Hold on, hold on. Behind but a water bottle, some busted up. Who cap? The narrator or the police? Because they said they was watching him in a small camera. As soon as they seen him get up, they could have, like, why didn't they run in there? Ceiling insulation. Is this movie this good? Embarrassed <laughs> police unit. Perez makes it to the street, where he then steals a pickup truck, mm. and the murder suspect drives off into the night. It will be another forty minutes before police even realize Perez is gone. A manhunt begins as the North Vegas police must admit they failed to properly monitor the suspect. Yeah, because they were supposed to look. It takes five days before authorities finally capture Perez. If they found him in Vegas, he's still. Perez without incident. When they do, police charge him with two other previous murders and a separate motel shooting nearly two months before his escape. Oh, this dude was Perez is facing game. multiple felonies, including murder, felony escape, and grand larceny. If convicted, I've got a lot of thank you face looking to do. I got all the toys I wanted from Petco delivered same day. Perez could be sentenced to death. I ain't gonna sentence him to that, bro. He gonna plead it out. 
plead it out, keep playing it out, drawing on the case till they give them life in prison without parole. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to catch you on the next one, though. Y'all be cool. How y'all be cool? Y'all know I'm going to stay cool. And, yeah, I hope this video was cool. 100.